survival instincts now. Get him up. Oh, that changes everything. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Welcome back to Gaming with Rob. We are going to take you on a journey and a game review for Undisputed. Enter the world of boxing developers, Steel City Interactive. 1024 Media Publishers, Steel City Interactive and Play On. Become undisputed in the most authentic boxing game to date. Featuring true life visuals, bone jar in action and more licensed boxers than ever before. Undisputed gives you unprecedented control to master every inch of the ring. Uh, early access is available um, on Steam. More than 50 early access fighters. Innovative and authentic gameplay. Revolutionary footwear me footwork mechanics, including... A loose movement modifier to help you get around the ring with ease. More than 60 individual punches. Punch from multiple angles and direction. Uh, 50 licensed fighters at the start of early access with more to come. Including a fully fledged women's division. Incredible detail boxer models. Uh, utilising the latest scanning technology, the WBC, British Boxing Board of Control and other real-life boxing organisations, boxing equipment and apparel brands such as Empire Pro Tape, Rival, Cleto Reigns and Adams. Taking a look at the in-game selections, then you can fit, uh, put your wits up against uh, either the AI computer or against an opponent online. You see we're going through the divisions well to wait there. On the uh, ladies uh, section, then you've got lightweight. Moving along to the gents, then you've got the heavyweight, cruiserweight. And uh, going into the light heavyweight. Middleweight division, welterweight division, and of course the lightweight going into the featherweight and the bantamweight. You can see the uh, different characters on the screen there, many of which I'm sure you already recognize. Just looking at the menu section um, and what is available, what's on offer. So you can uh, have an online fight, uh, join in a lobby, uh, create your own lobby, look at the leaderboard and the rankings, that's online. And then you've got your career mode, your local mode and your main hub, including prize fights, career mode and an online mode as well, with the online shop um, due to arrive soon. So it's nice and easy to navigate as you can see. Uh, but effectively, yep, you just go through, select the weight division and select your fighter. As you can see, they're pretty realistic to life. Each has got their own score. Then going across, I'm just flicking through now so you can see the arenas that you can currently fight in. I know that there'll be others added at some stage in the future, future when it's uh, due to release on some other consoles. Of course, it's only available on the PC at the moment. And you can access that via Steam and other good shops around the world. Grand Theatre is probably one of my favorite venues. Um, some are good, some are not so good, just because of the lighting, really. Uh, I'm not, not first on the outdoor uh, arenas. Um, uh, call me old school, but I like the old-style boxing gyms like that one there. Seven Hills is amazing. It's like a club more than anything else, but I do enjoy fighting in that type of arena. So uh, let's have a look um, at the career mode. Here you can create your own fighter. Um, and there is so many customizable options. For me, 
there's just a little bit too many. You can get really wrapped up in how your uh, boxer is going to look. Um, it, it's really quite in-depth and probably a little bit unnecessary as far as I'm concerned. So from here, of course, you can select your gender um, as you would. And then just looking at some other customizable options. You start with a basic figure, of course, and then you just adjust it from there. Um, start with a very traditional kit. You can look at your weight class and see uh, which weight you would like to fight at, including uh, altering your height, body mass, weight, and reach. Probably a little bit unfair adjusting your reach, but uh, I guess it depends what type of fighting style you're interested in and uh, what you think will work well for you in your career. You start at the ripe old age of 18. I think I'm 22 as it currently stands in my career mode, uh, but more about that a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, you obviously you've got to fill these in. Uh, we'll just type in Joe Blogs for now. Uh, to get to the next screen, I just want to show you uh, some of the customizations that is available um, because I know some of you will be interested in this more uh, of you that will, I guess, be more interested in the actual fighting style and fight, etc., etc. But just looking at the how customizable it is, you know, how pointy your head is, how wide your head is, how much depth to your face. I mean, phew, it's a uh, for me, it's a little bit unnecessary, and I would like to have seen them concentrate more on the game mechanics rather than how each fighter looks. But we'll just make it something quite groovy now just to show you. I'm not going to go through every single option. Um, I think I spent near enough 30 minutes creating my fighter, and it it really did not add anything to the game, really, not for me. Um, but it's a situation that's just what you have to go through. You have to go through the customization option. Or if you really want to, you can actually take um, an in-game fighter. Um, I didn't go down that route. I would imagine you'd be slightly limited. You probably won't be able to take uh, an Alexander Ulsig or a Tyson Fury. I would imagine it would be one of the lower rank fighters on the game. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, I, I guess, you know, for, for, for those people who like this sort of customization, get rid of that eyeshadow. Um, I guess they would like it. It's, it's, it's really not for me. I mean, even things like going in and having like tattoos. Uh, I did put a few tattoos on my fighter. Really, what has it added to the game, though? Not a lot. Not a lot for me. OK, let's move on to the next section. Once you're happy with your fighter, you go ahead and save him. Come out. I'm not going to do that. Um, and you effectively start your career. Um, I'm going to load into my career just to show you a little bit um, how this works. My general feeling on um, the career is I, at this stage, I don't like it at all. Um, I don't like what it brings. I don't like the game mechanics. I don't like how easy it is to get knocked down uh, and how difficult it is to stand on your own two feet and carry on with the fight. And I say that um, genuinely because when you fight in a prize fight or you have a quick fight, it is totally different to your career mode. And I know that sounds silly, but it is. You get knocked down far too easy and eight times out of ten, once I got knocked down once, I cannot get back up. Um, whereas when you're doing a prize fight or when you're doing a, a quick fight or online mode fighting, um, you don't have that difficulty. So for me, there's something just not quite right about uh, the game mechanics on career mode. So as you simulate going through making sure your weight is in check and making sure you've got a decent amount of stamina. Through training, you can only get up to 70%. You go ahead and have a look uh, if there's any challenges. Marquise Green is a familiar one when you are starting at your boxing career. And depending on how you go, 
um, whether you go up or down the ranks, depending on what you uh, what fighters are available to you. As you can see, I'm 49th ranked in the world. Uh, we're just going to go ahead. Let's get Jamie. Um, you can see how his scores are in the various uh, uh, competitions around the world. And you can see his win record in brackets is the amount of knockdowns. Uh, then you've got losses and you've also got your draws. A draw is a very difficult to have, by the way. It is generally a win or a loss. Um, so navigating through the menus, if I just uh, go up to Jamie, um, what you can do then, you can have a look at his stats and you can try and negotiate um, a fight uh, with him. Uh, negotiations are fairly good. I don't mind... Uh, the interaction that that gives you is it, you are a little bit limited uh, certainly at this stage of my career um, but yeah it's fairly good so with a negotiation you got the purse cut I generally go 50 60 percent choose the venue whether you want insurance or not of course I always take it the amount of weeks training, it's really important that you don't do it too short because you do need enough weeks. One of my biggest mistakes, I was just accepting four weeks training. I generally do six to eight as a minimum now. And if you're having a fight promotion, uh, sorry, uh, if you're having media activities, that takes eight of your weeks. So if you're having, if you want six weeks training and you want two media activities, you need to have eight weeks training in total. Because apparently, media takes a whole week, even though you're just uh, chucking up a, a Facebook post or something like that. Um, then you see your costs. Uh, you try and negotiate the deal, which you've uh, got it in place. Um, and then, effectively, that fighter comes back and either accepts or declines. He's counted this one, so the thumbs down is what he's not happy with. So go ahead and change some of these and then renegotiate. You generally get about two negotiations and then they'll just bomb you out and say, forget it. And then we start back at square one. Uh, Jamie's fairly easy to negotiate with though. So I know he'll accept it this time around. Uh, he's a bum, just like me effectively on this, uh, on this, on this game. <laughs> Um, not doing too well in my career mode. There we go, he's accepted it. I just want to show the negotiation and then how the training mode works also. And then I'll get into a few of the game mechanics before wrapping it up and giving you my scores. Jim's really interesting. Uh, you've got a sign up fee and then a weekly cost. As you can see, I've got just over 28 grand in the bank, so not a lot of money. Um, this is a low key fight, so I'm just gonna take my freebie. I think there's nothing really riding on this fight too much. So uh, let's get across to the freebie. Let's select that one. And we'll go ahead and confirm it. And then you see your weeks one to eight um, and the different options, training, recovery, media, et cetera, et cetera. Where you see the uh, electricity symbols and the figures next to it, that's how much your um, energy is gonna decrease depending on what type of training you do. And as you select the training on the right-hand side, you can see the areas which you'll improve on if you select it for that week. So my energy's gone down on training. Uh, my untrained or, or fight sharpness has increased, and my weight is in there also. And on the right-hand side, you've got injuries. I've only ever had one injury so far, and I've probably done about 20 fights. And it, uh, yeah, it did knock me out. I couldn't compete in that fight and therefore lost some money. So let's go ahead. Of course, the perfect scenario is your 100% energy, your 100% uh, uh, fight sharp, and you're on weight. It doesn't always work that, that way, but uh, because I know now what I can and can't do in, time, in terms of media and in terms of the type of training, um, I've not always, but pretty much get this off to a T. It does take a little bit of time to get this right, though. Fight camp is ended. The stats are really good. So uh, I should be really confident going into this one. Let's hit the fight. Of course, we've selected the uh, local gym for this one, so there's actually no crowd. So coming into the fight, then, 
Um, there's a lot of jumping around. Camera angles are okay. Um, you've got to be careful not to get hit. Uh, with a sweet blow, obviously I'm attacking him there uh, in the ribs and he's defending it quite well. One thing that frustrates me is sometimes the boxer can have one, one hit exactly like that. I think he's hit me twice and I'm down. Um, and that is the bad thing with career mode. When you're in a normal fight online or fighting against the AI in a quick match, that does not happen. Now, normally, I would struggle to get up, literally on my first knockdown. Um, but it's different when you're online or when you're in a quick fight or a prize fight. Career mode is just not right. It's a massive, massive, massive thumbs down on career mode. Um, despite that fact, I did get up this time around. And I know this guy. I know I can beat this guy. Um, but it just takes one lucky shot, and that's really, really, really frustrating. There is definitely some tactics to this game. Um, the obvious one would be uh, don't get hit and make sure you uh, knock down your opponent as, as, as quickly as you can. What you've got to be conscious of is uh, the blocking, uh, both for and against. Also, the stamina. Uh, stamina really plays a big part as you go into the longer rounds. Um, and if you are low on energy, if you're out of puff, uh, for Pete's sake, get yourself protected because one punch can take you out big time. Let's have a look at this punch now. The gum shield's going to come out. He's down. He's out. And that's going to be it. For this chomp... On Undisputed Boxing, this is a KO, this is a knockout. You just know when it's coming. And, of course, at the end of the fight, you get the traditional stats, the judges' scorecards, and, um, yeah, just the overall uh, information about the fight. It then goes on to give you your fight rewards and whether you've increased or decreased in the rankings, in the uh, various uh, rankings for... You know, the WBC, the WBO, et cetera, et cetera. Your coach gives you some feedback on how the fight went, and then you've got some objectives. Either you did or you didn't hit, and you go back to square one and start recovering, ready for your next fight. So now to give you a quick uh, roundup of my views on the game and my scores. The actual game itself, uh, Undisputed Boxing, I started playing it and I really, really liked it. Um, it started to go south for me a little bit when career mode was introduced because the mechanics just are not right whatsoever, as I explained a few moments ago. It's got to the point where, <coughs> because of career mode and um, um, being very very poor and having limited appeal for me as an online boxer when you're taking on the prize fights and then you're just taking quick fights i'm a little bit bored with it um which is a real shame um especially because i was so hyped with it in the beginning so let me give you my overall ratings. For graphics, I've got to stand up, clap my hands and say well done because the graphics for me are very, very good. <coughs> um, so I'll give the graphics an 8.5 out of 10. The gameplay itself, I'm very split on. Uh, for general gameplay, I'd probably give it an 8. But for career mode, I'd probably give it a 6 uh, at best. Um, so I guess that gives gives it <coughs> uh, a score of seven in between both. Ease to play. It's fairly easy to play, as in you just got to hit a few buttons uh, to throw a few punches. However, the defence is is fairly hard, um, and counteracting isn't necessarily that easy either. But that's down to the skill of the player. Um, I'll give it a 7 um, for ease of play. Longevity, it takes a nosedive for me because um, if you're not playing online, which I, 
I, I, I've done so but didn't really enjoy. Um, quick matches are limited and prize fights are pretty much the same all the way through. It was the career mode that I was looking forward to and as I said, it's really let me down. So I'm going to give the longevity a score of six and the storyline for me, there isn't too much of one. You kind of create your own storyline. There's not a story within the game itself. So I'm going to give that a six as well. Bit of a shame, really. So as an overall game then, I was really hoping um, to give this something like an eight or a nine, eight of ten. Uh, but since career mode has come in, it's taken a massive nosedive for me. I'm going to sadly give the overall game um, a 6.5 out of 10, which is pretty low. However, there are some things that they could improve upon. Um, and of course, the online shop is due to arrive also. What I would like to see... I would like to, them to bring a bit of fantasy into it. I would like to see the Apollo Creed, the Rocky Barbour, um, kind of that element for the people who aren't that serious about boxing. Um, so I would like to see that type of character come into the game, although it's not true to life. For me, it would add something. And I really think they need to sort out the game mechanics. Graphically, it's superb. Commentary could improve. Uh, because it's quite samey in the commentary. Um, and again, it's just one of those things that drones on um, and you just don't get the longevity out of the co commentary side of things. So yeah, a disappointing score for me. 6.5 uh, out of 10, which is a real shame because actually some of my better views on this channel is the Undisputed Boxing. I just don't enjoy playing it like I used to maybe two, three months ago. That's it. That's my review. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree or disagree with me? And tell me the reasons why. Thanks for watching this game review. Smash subscribe if you like your game reviews. And I will see you over on the next one. Take care for now.